Hey guys, Mallory here. Welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking all about practicing. Now, we've all had that one school teacher or coach or guitar teacher that's told us, just go home and practice it. But what does that even mean? What does practice actually look like? It's just as important to think through how to practice as it is to actually practice. So here are my strategies to having the most effective practice session. First off, set a practice routine. Like I've mentioned in the past, it's way better to practice for smaller amounts of time more frequently, such as 10 minutes a day, than to practice for a really long time infrequently, such as for an hour once a week. I'd suggest setting a timer for yourself and being in a place that is free of distraction so that you can stay really focused during your time. Also, set small concrete goals for yourself so that you can measure your progress. Speaking of measuring progress, you may want to consider keeping a practice log in a notebook or a phone note. Keep track of when and how long you practice, as well as what you're working on. Keep track of your wins and that way you can visually see your progress over time. I know it's super easy to feel stuck in the beginning, like you're not actually making any progress. So one thing I really enjoyed when I was teaching guitar one-on-one was sharing monthly progress reports. So I would read to the student all the things that they learned over the past month, and that way they could see that they truly were making progress and growing in their skill set. Also, it may seem like a no-brainer, but tune up before you start. I'll be sharing my top tuning tips in next week's video. Once you're all tuned up, make sure to warm up your fingers and hands by doing some simple stretches to avoid injury. So you can stick out your hands like this and pull your fingers back gently. You're going to want to hold each stretch for about 10 seconds. You can also stretch your wrists like this, pressing your hand downward. You can stretch your thumbs. Just wiggling your fingers, making sure they're all warmed up. You can also do some scales if you know any, but if not, no worries, we'll be going over scales in the future. Another tip that has really helped me is to record yourself. Trust me, you will hear things that you do not usually hear without recording yourself. It can be a great tool to identify problem areas and gauge your progress. And if you mess up, that's okay. Just identify what went wrong and why it went wrong and learn from it. Finally, if you have friends who play guitar, try practicing with them sometime. You'll be able to learn from each other and help sharpen each other's skills. I know it can be kind of intimidating to practice with other people. I know I even feel like that sometimes. But if they're your friends, they're just going to be happy that you're playing guitar with them. So just go for it. Most importantly, be a humble learner and you will go far. I hope these tips help make your next practice session the best yet and help you grow in your playing. And remember, you got this. I'll see you in the next video.